Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at ISC 2016 in Frankfurt, Germany, and today we're at the TransTech booth with Oliver Tennert. Oliver, how are you today? I'm fine, thanks, and you? Oh, good, good. It's been a great day here. It is. Yeah, yeah. So let's start at the beginning for folks who might not know. Yes. Um, who is TransTech and who do you help? Okay, so we're a German-based uh, provider of complete HPC solutions meaning we sell everything from the smallest workstation to the biggest cluster, do all the integration on the customer side, do the deployment, and provide customers with all kinds of services all around. Okay, okay. and, and uh, what are you showcasing this week at ISC? Yes, this time at ISC we're focusing on dynamical deployment scenarios, which you realize, together with our partner Bright, where OpenStack is used as the software solution for setting up your own private cloud. And we would like to give you a demo on this. Okay, okay, let's, let's go take a look. All right, we're here with Piat from Bright Computing. Uh, thanks for giving me a demo today. Can, can you tell me uh, what are you showing here? Okay, so what we have over here is, is a brief demonstration of our Bright Cluster Manager product, uh, which allows, in a nutshell, it allows cluster administrators to very easily uh, turn a pile of hardware into a fully functional cluster. Now, this cluster can be any type of cluster. It can be a typical HPC cluster. It can be a, a big data, so Hadoop or Spark deployment. It can also be an OpenStack cluster, so in other words, an OpenStack private or public cloud. So what we have over here is a, a demo cluster which has been deployed with our HPC software, our HPC stack, as well as with Bright OpenStack, which is our own distribution of OpenStack. I see, and so you got a GUI that'll run all this and orchestrate. It looks pretty powerful. Yes, it is. So it allows the administrator to manage and monitor not only the physical resources of the deployment, so things over here like uh, networks, nodes, uh, switches, and so on, but it also gives a uh, management capabilities into OpenStack itself. So basically, the end result is that you have a single pane of glass, which allows you to manage and monitor the entire stack from the physical layer all the way to the virtual layer. And so can you provision with this then and, 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 and see the activity that's going on in the clusters? Uh, yes, you can. And uh, the really cool part about it is that you can provision and manage the nodes, the physical nodes in the same way as virtual nodes. So uh, as the cluster administrator, we have the same user ex experience for managing those two types of nodes effectively. So we can see it over here. So if I, if I just click on a physical node, we can see a certain set of operations which we can perform on the node. So that's a physical node, and if you go over here and then click on a virtual node, which is uh, right now running inside of OpenStack, uh, you can see the same management interface, uh, the same set of capabilities and management operations which you can perform on those nodes. So, so, so what's this here? So what I did is I've just uh, opened our monitoring window, which allows uh, the administrator to view all the metrics associated with the cluster. So what we see over here are some metrics from the physical nodes, so CPU metrics, disk metrics, so all of this is configured out of the box. Okay. And on top of that, we also have a whole variety of OpenStack specific metrics, starting from the API endpoints all the way through hypervisors themselves, and then individual VMs running on those hypervisors. 